little bit cold coming into Three, grand finals, two, but we have to see one, what kind four. of momentum comes from our winning team here. It's game one, Sakiophronix versus Tax Evasion and Serenity. And all goody, Tax Evasion gonna be opening off hot, fighting an end light, fighting a D light, and red team is looking for a way to be able to go ahead and get back down. Sakai and Phronix inevitably do so, they get put back up, and please, let Sakuya go. <laughs> Egg is just a boy. He does let not deserve play. to be clubbed with Axe over and over again. Oh, let the kids play for just a moment. Serenity and Tax Evasion off to the races right here. Sakia will not find that first KO, but it's very, very close. Yeah, just barely dodges around. Serenity is there to cover the tracks, though, every single time. That's right, products. How do you get back onto the stage here? And the answer is blue team is just gonna chill and focus on the red team. This is a very important concept in twos, which is if somebody's super deep off stage, you don't need to go for an edge guard. Edge guards are not guaranteed. But you know what is guaranteed? 2v1ing the other teammate that is actually still on the stage itself, right? So really good patience though. Um and they still got that stock off anyways. Yeah, and you saw it case in point, right? Tax was looking to try to go for that edge guard onto Fronix and says, you know what, I'm just gonna take stage instead. I can force the 2v1 in that position. He will fall off his first stock, Serenity as well, soon to follow. But again, in terms of damage, slight lead still over to blue. Saki's gonna fall off stage right there now. That's right, side light, new trailer as well. Fronix, Fronix. Man, I feel, I'm, I'm sorry, because tax evasion just keeps on going in again Ooh. and again and again. Serenity switching up, finding the ground pound, finding the stock that way too. Sakuya sweating on the way back down. Did you see that coverage? Oh the GCD light on top and then just the axe and light on the bottom. You had no way that you could possibly go. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide, and red team is getting exposed right now. Last stock for both members right here. Serenity and Tax Evasion sitting pretty with two stocks apiece. How do you land against these titans of the game? Tax Evasion's gonna look to recover right here. Sakia just needs to play a little bit risky, try to find the edge guard, but it only amounts to a little bit of damage. Look at that GC follow-up right there from Phronix to keep them in the game. Tax Evasion has so much threat, and they know it too. That's gonna be the cider. That's not gonna be the stock quite yet, though. Tax once again sliding off with that signature. Um, Phronix just gonna be eating the weapon toss, looking. Okay, oh, all right, no. Tax. <laughs> they're they're doing the thing again, Dara, and I don't know how to feel about it. Phronix is in pretty deep red though, so it's looking like it's an ill-fated conclusion in this first game. But I mean, if Tax wants to keep playing around, you never know what's gonna happen later on in the set. But game one's gonna go over. stage. Of course, that was Tax Evasion saying, "I want my chase dodge. I want my chase dodge. I'm gonna hit my teammate. I'm gonna dive kick him." <laughs> Uh, just to be able to go ahead and get that back onto the stage. And guess what? Phronix, uh, excuse me, Tax Evasion and Serenity, they both ended up still coming back on briefly. They did end up helping each other out against all odds. So going into the next game, I mean, yeah, Serenity and Tax Evasion, they, they, they won that. They, they, Look at this Tax damage. Evasion dealt. <laughs> Look at that damage. Oh yeah. That's gross. That's, right. That's gross. The amount of damage the tax evasion dealt in the early game. I mean, you can see how Sakwe and Phronix's stocks, they were quite short-lived. Tax evasion sat on those two stocks. I know we keep talking about tax evasion over and over, but again, it still just worked out so well. We are going to be seeing the switch over to the Zol. Zol, such an amazing twos pick. Because sometimes, with either weapon, you can side sick across the stage. And Three, once two, per game, it one, will hit. Draw. You get one of those per game. Yeah, excited to see it. I mean, one of, I think, if not the highest attack stat out of every legend right now, right, with the nine. So, should be fun to see. And I've mentioned earlier in the broadcast, right, when you get that cannon online, it could be a dangerous situation if you let them go off with it. That's right. Never settle for less. Get you a nine. Uh, right now, Sakuya able to get the sidelight neutral and then the recovery to be able to catch that dodge as well. Just a really solid axe advantage state. There's two axes on the screen at the moment. There's Lance in Phronix's hand, and I believe that was going to be the GCD sim. Big side airs, of course, coming through from Sakia. Not enough to find the stock, but big damage regardless across the board for all players. Now it's red team off stage. Phronix out of resources, Sakia out of their first stock, and it's a two stock lead now for blue, just like that. Oh my gosh, that was amazing for tax, but ended up actually centering onto the wrong opponent. Serenity fighting a 2v1 for just a little bit, but you know what? Still keeping nice and safe and still holding on to the stock. 
Okay, Lance doing Lance things right here. Phronix trying to come in, find something to get this KO onto Serenity. That one's not going to do it. Next one, surely. But Sakya online with the cannon. Now, what can they get? Specifically on tax evasion, I'm looking, right? Yeah, because Serenity is going to fall right there. Hey, tax. How do we make it back onto the stage? And the answer is Serenity with the opening. And I love that little optimization. Neutral into the axe down. Um, you know, oh, you know what? Never mind. I don't even have any time to even talk about that. Serenity sliding off, looking for the end sync. Sakuya so barely making it back on. Okay, caught up in the mixer a little bit is all four players right here. Some space is granted and Sakia finds the cannon, but it might be too late right here. Looking in deep red, tax evasion will fall. Can they get a 2v1? Just a quick two piece as tax flies back into the fray. Recovery into the neutral lane, tax evasion again, even without a weapon on hand, will continue to play up and will continue to play so aggressively. Okay, X and light, X D light as well. Phronix is getting juggled. Off stage, tax. We know him to play a little bit risky right here, but is he going to do it on last stock? Sakia, Saku, uh, Sakia, excuse me, playing very safe in very deep red, but it's just a light breeze to find that KO off the top. Now you got to look at Serenity to try to equalize. And Phronix is running away from the stage. Does not want to get hit at all at this moment in time. Oh no, that is not the time for the friendly fire. This is not it. Phronix is off stage as a result, is able to make it back on. So luckily for Phronix, that wasn't the stop. Sakia just can't seem to find too many openings. They were able to get this stock onto Serenity. Do you go for it right okay. there? Tax evasion off stage. Wait a second. Okay, you got to go for the save, but Tax is down. It's a 1v1. Yeah, no GCN like connecting. Uh, the recovery didn't hit either, so there is going to be no chase dodge. Uh, or at least just pop up your teammate, rather. Um, and so at the moment, just as you said, we've got a 1v1. Sakuya, can you clutch? This is it. Clutch Ooh, your that tip. disarm, though. That's huge. No weapon spawn for a minute. And it's on the opposite side. Sakuya finds it. Okay, Sakuya and Serenity, both of them are opting to play nice and patient. But when Spear with side light, that is the opening, the landing last second recovery. Every Spear loves to switch you up with it. Land with ground pound as oh my Spear. God. That is committal. Dora, anybody's game. Serenity will find Blue it. And it's going to be 2-0 for Blue. But what a close bout coming out of Sakuya and Phronix. In general, Spear should not really be getting away with pressing the side light and whipping it in your face, right? It has quite a bit of lag on the move. It is quite reactable, as well as ground pound. And so I thought that that was going to be the uh, game for the other team. I did not think that Serenity would be able to clutch that out. I thought those were a couple of big commitments. And then Serenity was still able to go ahead and hold that down. So really tragic for Sakuya because that felt so doable. Yeah, 100%. And I mean, if there was any doubt in the canon doing a lot of work there. I mean, it allowed that 1v1 to happen in the first place. So we're loaded into game three. Of course, we're gonna see Sakia staying on the same legend right here. Let's see that cannon do a little bit of work, maybe force a game four. That's right, I didn't feel like we got to see a lot of Zul things necessarily take place, right? It was mostly on the axe, we didn't get to at least see Cannon come out all that much. Um, and right now, we are going into potentially Sakia and Phronix's last game of the tournament, unless they can make this comeback. Go. Yeah, looking to do some cannon things right there, but Tax is able to break up all the action. Ooh, that's a huge overextension, but doesn't get punished at all, really. Sakia just target swaps instead. As we speak, though, Phronix is getting kind of diced up on the right side right there, gets disarmed, but snags that Lance away before Tax can pick one up. That's right. Phronix, how do we actually land here? The answer is with Cider. Serenity, no weapon on hand. Very few resources. Tax evasion. The amazing weapon toss from Phronix. Able to close that out. That was excellent. Okay, yeah. Can't commit too much further off the right side there. Serenity is there to play defense. Will find the stock on Phronix as well. Sakia soon to follow. No, just barely hanging on. But unarmed right there. Recovery is enough to do it. Tax evasion covering all the angles. Yeah, from even under the stage, the recovery was able to KO off the top. Phronix looking for the recovery follow-up at this point. Sakuya just swatting and batting people away again and again. Phronix occupying the ground. Sakuya just going to be controlling the skies with all of these axe downers, making it so difficult for anybody to land. Okay, let's see. We get the first bit of action started here. Tax evasion off stage. Is it a 2v1 onto Serenity? No, he's back in a hurry. 
Mei, who are currently able to go ahead and scout out that dodge. Look at the position that Sakui is in. The answer is not amazing. A little bit of friendly fire onto Phonics. The side of though, the baseball swing, uh, just going to be sending Sugenity off stage. Saki up first one to fall right here in this stalemate at two stocks apiece. Can they get the 2v1 onto Phronix? It's going to be just damage, not a stock. Same thing goes Feeling for Tax. Neutralized. Not enough to KO Raven off the top. Tax Evasion still holding on to two stocks. And now this is the lead that Blue Team wants. Sugenity whipping that side out, but it does not matter. Because Tax Evasion keeps on landing neutral out after neutral out after neutral out. And you already know the kind of damage output that Axe is notorious for. Oh yeah, but Sakia Cannon was able to find a quick two-piece just like that. You just need one more onto Tax and you're talking about an even game. Pretty big damage right here. You have to pick up the new weapon though. Let's see what kind of initiative could happen here. Extends really far for that edge guard against Tax. You're now looking over at the Serenity instead. I think they're taking too yeah. much damage, Dara. Red team needs to play perfect at this point, and the reality is that's X and like connecting. That is now going to be Sakuya out of the game. The, the, oh no, taking a breather. <laughs> oh no. Taking a little nap. A Viking oh, funeral yeah. coming through as the last edge guard comes on the side of Tax Evasion. Flying the France flag coming through, and they are going to advance to the elimination final up against Himli and Vortex. Sakia and Phronix, a good showing, but it was just not enough against these two. Yeah, we gotta keep talking about.